continue to wear masks on planes? That's up to them. Are you going to like to appeal the ruling uh, or the ruling that the judge made striking down the mandate? I haven't spoken to the CDC yet. Hmm. President Biden reacting as his mask mandate for planes gets grounded. A federal judge in Florida ruling his administration does not have the authority to continue enforcing the much despised rule. So you can now avoid the wrath of being scolded by the flight attendant in between sips of vodka. I mean, water. <laughs> Airports and airlines all over the country dropping the requirement and cheers breaking out mid-flight after passengers heard the news. The judge overturned the mask mandate. Yeah. My company and yeah. I at this moment, if you choose to, you may remove your mask. It's over immediately. Congratulations. A lot of cheers there. The end of the mask mandate could also mean the end to all those nasty midair fights. Yep. With people going Jerry Springer on each other over having to cover up. <laughs> but not so fast. The White House not ruling out a challenge to bring the mandates back. And of course, the media is cheering them on. Just because this ruling was made by a judge doesn't mean that suddenly the science has changed. What we saw was a legal decision not a public health decision. Guess who's not lifting his personal ma mask mandate on airplanes? Uh, I, I will not. I, I, I ain't. <laughs> ah, they like to, they just need to stay together despite the science. Dana, the one thing that we keep hearing, you know, oh, there's mask may mayhem and mask chaos. How hard is it? You either wear it or you don't. You don't have to. This is not, no one's putting a gun to your head. You can still wear it. Why are you flipping out? It's really incredible to me that the White House decided to basically yesterday take the L. Yeah. We're disappointed in that decision. But instead of, like, accepting the win, they want to make it all muddled. Yeah. So you have the president saying, well, that's up to them. Well, we have to talk to the CDC. Well, we're not really sure. Instead of just saying the court has spoken, make good personal choices for yourself. This is March or April of 2022. It's not March of 2020. We have vaccines. Mm -hmm. We have therapeutics. We have many people that have natural immunity. We also know from their own emails between Fauci and Walensky that the six feet to slow the spread was just a number they threw out right. there. And the airline CEO, uh, he testified saying that th what the studies that they've shown is because the air is recirculated, sitting on a plane right next to somebody is, is like sitting 15 feet away from them yeah. on an airplane. So the six feet thing, that, that's twice that. Yeah. So they're not following the science. They're not following the politics. And the other thing is, don't, don't forget, it wasn't the Biden administration made decisive action and the president is saying, I'm looked at the science and I'm making a decision and this is where we're going. No, the, every single time they get pushed into doing something, it's either by Congress or a court. Right. There's not a lot of decisiveness going on. No, you know, Sean, um, people like Valerie Jarrett says, I don't care whether about I'm still wearing my mask. It seems to me that they've uh, some people and it's basically on the left side have latched onto the mask as an identity component. It's like a human bumper sticker. Yeah. It's like you, it would be like you, me going up and saying, you need to take that visualized world peace bumper sticker off your car. That's, they feel like you can't take this mask from me. Well, right, We're not. They, 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 this is their liberal flag, right? You put it on and I show my liberal stripes. But just, I gotta tell you what, I'm so happy about this, me too. Uh, this being lifted because now, all of America gets to see the beautiful mustache on Geraldo. Yeah. He's never going to mask it again. It's like, we want to see it, right? Amazing. Yeah. Gorgeous. No, it's like the mask back on. I, was gonna, I thought you were going to bring up the fact that you, how many kids you got? You must, like, when you got to mask him, you got nine it's kids. It's horrible. I, I don't mask him. I don't follow That's a whole box. Yes, but, but, it's a box of masks. But to Dana's point, I think the White House actually loves this ruling. They don't have the backbone to actually make it themselves. They're waiting for a court to do what they should have done. And now they're, they're, they're not going to appeal this. Watch, they won't do it. Nope. Um, and what's frustrating is the CDC is saying we needed two more weeks to look at the science, look at the data. Well, the truth is we've given them billions of dollars. The fact that they can't actually look at the data and immediately say, listen, we know that there's, there's a rise in, in COVID infections. However, hospitalizations haven't spiked. Yeah. This is not that bad. Take your mask off and fly, little friends, fly. Yeah. Judge, did you notice how the media was going after the judge? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it was a she Trump was a Trump judge. She's young, single female, inexperienced, all the uh, all the dog whistles for sexism. All the dog whistles. I mean, the fact well, that she was... Qualified. Not qualified. Not qualified. There you go. Right. Not qualified. The That's not what the qualified. American Bar Association... Yeah. Would you like to answer it? No, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me, darling. I didn't. I, re I Say you're sorry. It. I do. I all right, here's the bottom I line. Am. Because she was a Trump appointee, yeah. they're furious about it. They can't say anything else. The judge was very clear. She said they failed... The, the administration failed to adequately explain their decision 
decision there and is the science uh, argument. The mandate exceeded the statutory authority of the CDC. The judge was very correct on that. The CDC did not have the statutory authority to mandate that we wear these masks, and they improperly, they didn't do it properly. They were supposed to ask for notice and comment. So everything that she said was accurate. And here's the bottom line. We've got freedom at last. If you don't, if you want to wear a mask, you want to muzzle yourself, go right ahead. Stop bothering me anymore. I have freedom finally. We all have the freedom to do what we want to do. And the judge was absolutely on point. And they're mad. And what they're going to do is that totalitarian instinct is very strong. They're going to continue to try to embarrass us and bully us into wearing masks. Yo, Harald, you've been on this planet a while. It, it seems like there's a, a flip going on. You would think if you step back, it would have been the Republicans and the, le the, the people who take less, ri fewer risks would be pro-mask and it would be the freedom-loving liberals, you know, the, you know, burn your bra. But it's flipped. <laughs> it's now the liberals are like, we want our face covered. We want to shut down. And it's the, it, it's the true freedom-loving right. Well, that imagine how confusing it is for someone like me in the middle of the road. I have a picture of myself on the flight today. I didn't know what to do. Half the people had masks, half the people didn't have masks. <laughs> They, they announced it. I just so I decided to just drape it from my face. There you go. <laughs> That's quite a quite a schnoz yeah. there in the in the middle of it. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think Greg, to to your point that uh, it all all of these decisions are political. Uh, those we agree with, the judge is wise. Those we disagree with, the judge is uh, uh, you know uh, is inexperienced and uh, incompetent, or this, that, and the other thing. I I agree with Dana. I tweeted uh, as soon as I saw her. Uh, her comments on it on Sunday, I think it was. Uh, you you got to go with the flow. The judges decided it was only a couple of weeks left anyway, even in the best of circumstances. So why not say, okay, we did what we were supposed to do, and now the judges ruled, and let's move on. Fantastic. And you know, you want to wear them, you wear. Them. You don't want to wear them, you don't want to wear. Them. But it was it was almost over anyway. You know the, the what the the masks kind of taught us. We we keep talk, hearing about racial divisions and all sorts of divisions. It really is a class division. We go back to that Met Gala. Yeah. That one image of the powerful unmasked and all the servants masked. I mean, I think we learned that there's an authentic division in our country, and it's power, powerlessness, and the and the, the mask is kind of the symbol. And it's, I hope that that is going to start to lift as well, because mm -hmm. that's still happening at retail yeah. shops and at restaurants. Um, and if it's a personal preference or if there's a need, if there's an immunocompromised person that wants to wear a mask, absolutely respect that. Yeah. That, that's not, that shouldn't be something that anyone makes fun of anybody about. But I also think that the White House is just missing this opportunity to say, this is great, America. We, look, at that, yeah. look at how much better we are. And, when, and you know, they could take this opportunity to, to make fun of China. Look at these guys. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys. They're having to do all of these really draconian things while we have succeeded. The country is getting back to normal. Yeah. They, live, they, live could, let live. they just miss every opportunity. Obama's birthday party, too. Yeah. All, oh, gosh, all, all yes. the guests there, masked yeah, yeah, yeah. and the servants yeah, all get masked up. Stop it, judging. The, the, stop judging. It's, no, the issue is it feels uncomfortable when someone is wearing a mask waiting on you and you're yes. not wearing a mask. I agree. I'm sorry. Psychologically, it bothers me. It's like yep. I feel a difference. I feel, okay, that tells me you are serving me. I don't like that feeling. Interesting. You know, I think it's a... Remember it's a, Pelosi's, uh, that dinner party she yeah. had, and everybody, nobody else had to wear a mask except for the staff, and yeah. I don't like it either. It's, it's just it me, makes it's, me not want to go into... There's a particular department store here I like to go to, but I don't like to go with it. Yeah, no, I, you can't hear anybody, you can't talk about it, and I, I feel yeah, bad. I want to pull it off, yeah, but then say, that would be what assault. What did you say? <laughs> I can't... It's like yeah. you can't see their mouth. It's like, what it's, did you say? It's the most dehumanizing thing. But, it's a face, it's the mouth. Everything is there on for a reason, so you can it communicate. It is over now. Yes, yeah, over. You know, Geraldo says it's over. Okay. It's over. It's All over. right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.